Oh, hey, hola, woodworkers. Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. What's on the agenda today is this discussion of the layout of the small workshop. In fact, we are going to reveal for the first time in the history of mankind the four major principles for laying out a small workshop in a one-car garage. So if you'll meet me over by the table saw, we will begin the discussion. My guess is that most one car, one stall garage workshops are very, very similar in that they are probably just somewhat wide enough to handle a car and maybe somewhat longer than a car. Uh, I, I know you're saying, wow, this, this guy's a freaking genius. We all probably have a common amount of footprint available for our tools. So since that's the case, there must be one or two ideal ways to lay out the tools. I know I've tried many ways, and I suspect you have tried many ways. So uh, again, I'd appreciate your comments when we get done with the tour. So what are the four principles of laying out a workshop uh, that I'm going to uh, reveal to you for the first time in the history of mankind. No, really. This is the first time in the history of mankind that I am revealing these secrets. Anyway, what are the principles? <clears throat> well, they are primarily use the crap out of your wall. Get everything that you can up on your wall. Secondly, Look for nooks and crannies and little places underneath power tools and in corners and in sections where you can uh, utilize the space. Third, set up everything so that there's unrestricted access in and unrestricted access out, at least with a minimal amount of effort, uh, and the tools aren't interfering with each other. And then the fourth principle, and probably the one that's the most important, is if you know you're expecting an expensive new tool from uh, Amazon or, or uh, Rockler or Woodcraft or Home Depot, open your garage door. Hopefully it's not in view of your spouse. Open your garage door and listen for that delivery truck. Get that package, get out those box cutters, get it unboxed, get that box cut up into recycle, and in the 3.2 seconds that that all takes place, your spouse will never know what happened. So that's the fourth principle. Folks, I, I was frustrated with where my table saw was and uh, tried it in different places. Uh, as I was doing cuts, I would find myself saying, wow, this is really stupid, Paul. Got to be a better way. I actually bought a book on uh, workshop layout and history of workshops and so forth. And in that book, there actually were several drawings, as there were on Pinterest, uh, that showed a commonality of people putting their table saw inside of the large garage door, maybe about three, three and a half feet, which is what I've done. I have about four foot from the garage door to my blade. And uh, so the idea is if I need more than that, then up goes the garage door. All right, that makes sense. The uh, saw stop, as we discussed, with underneath storage, with the uh, contractor saw as the outfeed table and vice versa, utilization of the crannies for lumber, uh, clamps, Dust collection system, second island continuing further into the garage consisting of a temporary work table to be replaced by a samurai workbench, a uh, cabinet for the thickness planer that quickly is put up on top of there, uh, and then the portamate for the compound miter saw for a 7 foot long by 28 inch wide or 30 inch wide workspace. You got the tool wall, got the uh, hand power tools hanging on bicycle hooks above that tool wall. Use the uh, upper storage as well. Have in the back a uh, computer station, Wi-Fi, Alexa, have a pantry for the family, and then in the backhand corner, 
have the uh, drill press and then against the wall have some sheet goods being stored and then the 8 inch uh, jointer that does have to be moved to be used but I can easily roll the uh, router table out of the way and move the jointer over and uh, or take it out into the carport the entry to the carport is right there nearby have some ladder storage and then uh, the bandsaw right now I have a section of the garage that uh, I let a grandson keep uh, some weightlifting equipment there. He pulls it out into the outside of the garage and use it. I try to cover it in order to keep the dust off of his weightlifting equipment. So that completes the 360 degree. Probably make you dizzy because I probably go too fast. So I will try to slow down. Anyway, I'm the small workshop guy. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, hit the like button if you liked anything. And leave your comments if you see some ways to improve things. Hiero con huevos. Have a nice day.